sir. Oh, look at that truck. So we got a 505 degree meet today. We're gonna be checking it out today. Uh, we're getting a quick pick stop though. We're getting some uh, Chick-fil-A with the homies. You know how it is. Yes, sir. Um, I might get some, we don't know. Look at that beauty right there. So today we're here at the meet, 505. I'm with Mason here. Um, we're gonna be shooting on a Sony NEX7. Um, bit outdated, 13 years old. Um, you wanna know how old I was? When I was 13 years ago, Mason? How old were you, Jaden? I was um, eight years old. So it, <clears throat> this camera came out when I was eight years old, but I can't complain because I got it for free. It was just like a hand-me-down given to me. So I'm gonna work with it, 24 megapixels. For 2011, I mean, that's pretty good. You can't complain about that. Uh, on that camera, just make sure you do me a favor and give me some love for the Acuras over there. You got a, the, those those four light front Acuras. The, perfect. I got them, I got them. Um, this is my hunk of junk here. 20, uh, 2015 Hyundai Veloster. Nothing special. I love her though, but um, she's definitely not ready for show or anything. All I got is like an exhaust mod going for it. Um, and a tow hooch, so that's about it. Um, we're just kind of waiting though because this meet starts at 8 30, and right now it's um, like 8 15 last time I checked, so we'll definitely check back in. I'll show some highlights of photos that I've been doing for it here. Um, super excited, experimenting, trying to get my name out, trying to get stuff going. You know how it be. Is that dude pulling up? Oh my lord, he is. Oh my gosh. That is fun. Hold on. What the fuck? That's a beauty right there if I've ever seen one. FD RX7? Bro, that's my dream car. That's my that's my that's my that's my dream car, bro. I, I saw that too, man. That looks pretty sick. That that looks like, like a custom body too. This is a pretty good meet. You got yeah, the, you got nothing the, crazy you though. Got the K truck on top of the truck over there. Yeah, that's the wild part is that there's a K truck just chilling on top of a Cummins. Um, what do you what, what would you think? Cause he didn't he didn't buy the I'd K truck honestly, like that. Yeah, no, I'd honestly say he's just kind of flexing that yeah. that, that that Cummins engine, bro. He probably he probably drifts that. that like we got we got more diesels coming in too up ahead. Like way over there. Way over there. Oh my gosh! Look at that turbo, bro. Oof, look at that turbo, bro. bro. I'm getting my own footage. Dog. Oh yeah. That's clean. Oh my gosh. This is a 33.2. You don't see a lot of them anymore. Cause everyone goes for the. 34s and the 32s. Sir, oh, look at that truck. It's sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y. And I do want to apologize if I sound like a little bit unenergetic or like quiet. I am coming off of like a cold that I have going on right now. So I can't give it like my haul like I normally do. <coughs> As you can see, it kind of hurts a little to talk a lot. This thing is nice, bro. What makes me severely insecure about these meets are seeing a fairly attractive women in modified cars. They know what they're doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, I get a little intimidated by women who are like that. That's so, so real, bro. We're part of the single club now. Praise God. Yes, sir. Praise God. It's a blessing. She cheated on me though. <laughs> so I was gonna say, this is like my dream car of all time, a uh, uh, Mazda. RX-7 FD. The FCs are nice too. And also, we just got a casual 32. Showing right here. He's pulling in too, right here, baby. Hold up. Now, this
this, my friend, is a truck, if I have ever seen one. Like, I'm getting that glare on my thing, bro. It's super bright. Holy crap, bro. And with that this, bro, that is phenomenal. How tall are you, Mason? Uh, I am six foot five. You think you can honestly, like in your honest opinion, fit in a K truck? You know what? I could. I really could. With what? With what? Sheer power and determination? These are gonna be like this, hit the camera angle that when these would be like this. I'd have to like shift it like this. I'd like move my leg out of the way like this. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is the next day. I'm here editing the video right now, as you can see on Final Cut Pro. And Honestly, I want to show you guys the results that I got from the photos. I'm going to be putting up right now on the video. I'm not disappointed, but I'm not happy with the results. I'm going to be honest with you because I know it's kind of like I shot myself in the foot. I knew what I was getting into. I did a lot of reviews and looking into it. The NEX 7 was notorious for being bad with low light. I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. I knew that it was going to be a struggle taking those photos. So I think definitely another thing that contributed to it was I was shooting in RAW, which I don't have anything like quality wise to edit RAW photos. I have something that kind of works. So I think what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to avoid shooting in RAW and basically just avoid um, nighttime type photos. So that way I'm getting... Uh, the maximum out of this as much as I can. I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video if you made it all the way here. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that jazz. I got my socials in the bio below too if you want to check them out. Support me out there. And I just want to say thank you guys. I'm trying to get back into making YouTube content. I'm trying to get back into making this stuff. Combining everything that I like. Uh, photography, video, cars, anime, gaming, whatever it is. I want to find a way to mesh it all together, do what I love. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.